Hello everyone and welcome back to another video where today I'll be discussing the new Palmer Agencies animatronics that just got released onto the website. So as of just right now, Palmer Agencies have released some new prop videos to their YouTube channel. Most of these are old props, however I will be looking at the two new ones that have not been seen before and are new for 2022. So with that being said, let's go ahead and take a look at the first prop, which is called the Sharp Dress Skeleton. He is another digital eye skeleton prop with the new LCD screens. He reminds me a whole lot of the 12 foot towering skeleton from Home Depot and of course the smaller, I believe it was 8 or 9 foot one that you could get in the UK that wasn't as tall as the 12 foot one, however did basically the same thing and did move his mouth as the Home Depot one couldn't. This is like the next prop in that lineup and it's really cool. Definitely something I would have imagined would come to Costco, however it is at Palmer Agencies which means it will be available in the UK this year which is really cool. Huge fan of this guy's appearance, I love the sharp suit. I love how well he's dressed and I think it looks really awesome. He also has a moving mouth which is always a bonus for props. And I believe this guy is actually around 8 feet tall as judging by the surroundings he's in. Definitely not the tallest prop in the world however I think he is definitely really cool. He makes up for the lack of size in the appearance in my opinion. The pose that he's striking as well is also really cool. I like how he's got like a stick too as it kind of completes his look. I think it looks really cool. Definitely reminds me of Victorian like era with the clothing and the bow tie. I think it looks really cool as well. Overall, it's a really good prop, and I definitely will consider getting this one because of how it looks. I think it looks awesome, will look great at any Halloween party. And the next prop that is new that we have not seen before from Palmer Agencies is called the Wailing Banshee. And as you can see, this prop is very creepy, really ghastly look. First thing to note is that she is very tall, she is two meters high and uses the Twitching Banshee audio, which is Definitely a tradition we see in a lot of props, however I think this is like the version 2 of the Twitch and Banshee, I'm going to name it, because it's a very creepy looking prop. The differences with this prop and the Twitching Banshee predecessor is that this prop has a moving mouth, as the Twitching Banshee didn't. Well technically she did, but that was kind of based on the movement of the prop itself, not like automatically happening with the prop in its mechanism. This prop does have a moving mouth that does happen automatically. And the costume is also very similar, it has this exact same colour design I believe. This one has black and silver hair which I think is a nice touch. And I mean the face is just so detailed on this prop. And yeah, this prop is very creepy, I'd love to get this one from a haunted house. I do also own the Twitching Banshee so it'd be really cool to do like a comparison video comparing both of them, the similarities differences. So if you want to see that then make sure to let me know. So overall, really awesome prop and it's certainly a very creepy one. So those two props were the brand new for 2022 props we have not seen before. Here's a look at every other thing Palmer uploaded to their YouTube channel today. You can see it's all been stuff that we've seen before. However, what is cool is that we do get some new videos of the forefoot props from Seasonal Visions. You can see we've got the clown and the witch and the scarecrow. Really awesome. So if you want to go check them out, I'll leave a link in the description. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to let me know what you think of these props in the comments. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe as I do Halloween all year round on this channel and I really appreciate you helping me out. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll see you guys next time.